Well, the race for the White House and the U.S. Senate in Wisconsin has tightened. That is the finding of the latest Marquette Law School poll, which was released yesterday. And the director of the poll, Charles Franklin, is back with us. You are a trooper fighting off a cold and still coming in, Charles. <laughs> Always happy Thank to you. come talk about polling. So, so it's been three weeks since your last poll. Yeah. And what is the headline on this one? Well, the headline is the tightening of the race. Uh, the, we saw Clinton ahead by six points in July, but then by 10 in early August, right after the convention, now down to a five-point lead. And so the convention bounce, which was pretty substantial for her, has really subsided. If you look at the likely voters instead of all registered voters, then it's gone from a 15-point lead, which was very big after the convention, to just a three-point lead right now. So the, when does the attention switch from registered to likely or the other way around? Yeah, I likely voters shift in how likely they are to vote because today I may feel excited, tomorrow I may feel down. So really until we get late into the fall, I would say late September or really October, don't expect those numbers to be settled. They're going to move around. In early August, again coming off the convention bounce, Republicans were saying they were less likely to vote than Democrats. This month, it's the other way around. Republicans a little more likely. Those things are normal. That's why you want to focus on the registered voters as the more stable look at trends. And as we get close to election, pay much more attention to the likely voters. Well, four years ago, with, with Obama and Romney, where do we stand if, compared to this race? Obama had a bit bigger lead, and especially after the convention then, which, remember, didn't come until Labor Day, right. got a bigger bounce. Uh, of course, then the first debate went badly for Obama and that lead practically collapsed down to just one point. So things can change quite a bit, but it's the undecided, the undecided race is a little number, lit. Yeah, the undecided number was pretty startling. It is, and I would really push that point. When we just asked Clinton or Trump, 19% say neither or I won't vote or I don't know. When we add uh, Johnson or Stein as third-party candidates, the two of them together get 18 percent, and there's still another 9 percent that say they can't choose between those four. Mm -hmm. This is a remarkably high level of undecideds that are up for grabs, and again, comparison to 2012, it was just 6 percent at this time in that election. Country divided. Let's look at immigration. Immigration, we asked a question of should there be permanent, uh, permanent residence and some path to citizenship for undocumented immigrants? Should they be allowed to stay at, but as guest workers, not as citizens? Or should they be required to quit their jobs and leave the U.S.? 62% say that they should have a path to citizenship. That's up about 10 points from where it stood four years ago in 2012 and matches national trends on this issue. And the leave the U.S. has been falling from the uh, low 20s, 22 or so, four years ago to 15 in this most recent poll. But that's sort of opposite of what the candidate Trump is proposing to do. It's striking that the impression that people have about what their own preference is is clearly a very small minority that prefer deportation. But when we look at just Republican voters, only 31 percent favor deportation. When we look just at Trump voters, it's still a significant minority of his own voters that favor a deportation option. We've talked a lot about how Trump could do anything, take any policy, and it wouldn't matter. And here on his signature issue, it shows that a lot of his supporters are supporting him for reasons other than his immigration policy. There's certainly a core that are motivated by immigration, but it's not the case that most voters for him are there only for the immigration policy. A little more than two months to go. Getting, Lots could happen. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Charles. Feel better, Charles. Nurse, nurse your cold. We'll see Doing you soon. Good. Thank see you. Soon. Thank you.